Welcome back folks to Investor Diaries. Today, we're going to discuss a very unique company. It's not a tech company, it's not a semiconductor company, but it's a mining company. Now hold on, we're not talking about a boring company that is extracting fossil fuels from Earth. We're talking about uh, a company that focuses on rare earth materials extraction that finds application in everything ranging from cars, robotics, drones, to wind turbines, to defense systems. Yes, we are talking about MP materials. We are very bullish on MP materials and we think that it has a lot of runway upwards. Now, MP Materials is a mining company with a twist, that is, for the future. It began its life as a mining company in Mountain View, California. Let's look at this chart, which shows the transformation of MP Materials over the years. MP Materials has evolved from broad rare earth mining to primarily cerium mining away from mountain pass. However, the new focus and something that the company is really, really excited about is the NDPR rare earth mining at Mountain Pass, California. The company went public last year through Fortis Value Acquisition Group and the money raised from this SPAC offering will fuel further growth, investments and this really means a lot for the company's stock price. So now let's try to analyze uh, some of the catalysts that are working in favor for the company and maybe try to explain why we are so excited about this company. Now, the first catalyst that we want to talk about is the NDPR advantage. The potential market opportunity for MP materials is huge. NDPR is a critical part of manufacturing electric vehicle magnets. There are a long list of OEMs that need these magnets. And regardless of other primary ingredients used in the lithium ion batteries, NDPR is needed within the engine. Another interesting connection that the company has is with hydrogen technology. Now, although in this presentation, it might seem like say Nikola is the only primary source for hydrogen, there are other OEMs as well. Now, these other OEMs that we are speaking about, they've got hydrogen technology that is already running, such as say Volkswagen or Hyundai. Regardless, the thesis remains, and MP materials can actually be the forefront supplier of this critical rare earth metal for all of these OEMs, be it California, United States, or globally. The next catalyst that we want to talk about is the geographical advantage that MP materials possess. This geographical advantage would be the key part of their future success. Many of the suppliers of the rare earth metals are in China and they are either private or partly controlled by the CCP, which is the Communist Party of China. This can lead to inefficient production and supply of these metals would be reliant on the deals with these large OEMs. MP materials can provide the stability and more importantly, the geographical advantage that would be valuable when dealing with North American and European car manufacturers. There's lots of global climate initiatives going on across the world. And I think all of these are reasons and catalysts towards the proliferation of electric vehicles in the world. There are also major consumers of these EVs in the United States, Canada, and the UK. We actually view this change as all consuming within the auto industry. And I do believe that this transformation will occur within the next couple of years. And this is all poised for MP materials to do well in the future. So apart from the rapid shift to EVs, MP materials stands to gain from a lot of other green initiatives as well. There's a huge demand for NDPR magnets, which are critical components of wind turbines. As governments around the world seek to reduce their dependency on fossil fuels, this will be another growth market for MP materials as well. The company expects this segment to grow by 7.8% annually from today to 2025. MP Materials is holding its margins really, really well if you speak about the financials. In fact, if you compare its margins to other mining companies or other rare earth companies, you will see that it's doing better than them because the average margin for a mining company is in between 20 to 25 percent. That's right, Appy. MP Materials margins are approximately 40 percent, which is well above the average in this industry and almost 93% free cash flow rate by 2022. 
Now this rapid growth and healthy margins can help in their further expansion and funding of the future operations of the co company. With margins this strong, there is also a possibility of a potential dividend announcement sometime soon, which is also going to be attractive to us retail investors. However, if we look at the valuation now, let's call it for what it is. The valuation is pretty expensive. The price to earnings multiple is 55, whereas the price to sales multiple is 22. Now, these are actually extremely high valuations when you look at the fact that the industry price to earnings for mining is 17. So the valuation does look expensive, but I think it is still attractive to a lot of retail investors because of the margins being higher than, than the peer group. The future free cash flows or the multiple applied to the future free cash flows is also attractive. We at Investor Diaries believe that MP Materials is at a very unique position to benefit from the green energy or the electric vehicle proliferation. There's a lot of news in the media about things happening globally. So A, domestically, Joe Biden is speaking about climate change quite a lot. We've had a lot of pledges at international forums, including the United Nations and companies continue to work innovatively to invest in green and renewable energy. I think that with all of these put together, MP Materials is in a unique position to supply a much needed niche for organizations across the world. With strong growth forecasted from its unique NDPR mining and already existing strong margins, which as Nitish alluded to, is better than that of the current mining industry, I think the company operationally is also poised for a very successful future. Additionally, MP Materials also stands to gain from being the only integrated NDPR magnet producer in the Western Hemisphere. And this catalyst is going to be even stronger, especially if the geopolitical tensions between the Western countries and China were to escalate. For all these reasons mentioned above, we believe that MP Materials is a buy at this moment and there's a huge opportunity going forward. Thank you everyone for tuning in to this episode of Investor Diaries. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. Thank you. Thanks everyone.